Hello my children, this is Father Franklin R. Queens with another episode of Virtuous Virtues. Today we will tackle the virtue of manscaping. For those of you with porcupines living in your nether regions, this is for you. Let's begin. It started for me as a few straggling follicles sneaking out above my urban cowboy bull riding championship belt buckle. Then before I knew what happened, it had grown to a life-size chia pet surrounding my midsection. This is when I knew the penis fro look was not going to be good for the good father. I decided to trim down a bit, but where does one start when dealing with such a bodacious bush? I first started with the clippers. I hooked up a two guard and went to town. Before I knew what had happened, I had more tangled, twined, and pubic hair in the blades of those clearly outmatched clippers. It was worse than getting Grandpa's Christmas lights into its original strands after we found them in the attic. Thirty years after he died, I grabbed the turkey carver, knowing that if I hit the wrong spot, I'd be eating red meat for the big meal this year. This worked out well until I got to where I could actually see my furry friendly phallus. At this point, I was more worried about getting too close to the holiest of holy twaddle sticks and decided I needed to get something that got a little closer. I grabbed my wife's nair, knowing it had worked wonders on her pelvic regions in the past. Knowing this was for women and may not be strong enough for a man, I decided to triple the dose. It started out very nice at first. I watched hair go away like a controlled yard burn. The control soon turned into a wildfire of burning around the sacred squirt dart I refer to as God's pinky finger. I started patting it to put it out, put out the burn, but it was too late. It was into the skin. I quickly ran outside and found the first thing I could to cool myself off, a nice bottle of lemonade. Well, after the cops showed up and told me to apologize to the little girls who were selling the lemonade, I was off to the hospital. I had third degree burns on my meat banana and swollen love turnips. The moral of the story kids, don't ever let the hedges get above the wood, it'll burn you every time. I'm Father Franklin R. Queens, and this has been another Virtuous Virtue.